we're back in the side. So uh, we got a no cool call. Apparently this unit uh, had the TXV changed out and was overcharged at some point. And now she's not cooling again. Uh, these are our pressures. So this is a heat pump. Um, I have it in cool mode. So that's our liquid, that's our suction. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this to the true suction port just to make sure. Uh, but we might have a reversing valve problem. So let's get into it. So here we this go. This has a default cool uh, because it's a ream. So that means to go into cooling mode, all you, can receive, all you need is a Y call. So you don't call for a reversing valve. So if we look at our things here, we have C and B. We should have no voltage between those two. So nothing, so that's good. That means we're in cool mode. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can gain access to that reversing valve, but I suspect that it's stuck. All right, so I'm on the true suction port and you can see our pressures have not changed. It's pretty much equalized. So I think that the reversing valve is like kind of stuck in the middle. So it's basically coming out of the compressor, going back into the compressor and we're not measuring any pressure changes because it's just kind of circulating before the valves. All right, so I'm gonna try and manually energize the reversing valve by jumping R to B. Yeah, you hear that? We got no swoosh. I got a click, so it's stuck. Yeah. So we got the top off. Um, I've checked all the little cap tubes. They don't seem to be leaking. Our refrigerant charge seems to be okay. It's all currently off right now. We're at 107.4 PSI. It's 410A, but it's like 34 degrees outside. So saturation's right about there. So I would say the charge is okay. I'm guessing this, this TX3 right here is the one that got changed, um, considering the tubes look all new. Ooh, man, look at that. You had to braze in each individual cap. That sucks. Anyway, um, let's go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and kick this on with no fan. Uh, just to get the pressures up. Um, and then I'm gonna be tapping on that uh, reversing valve, see if I can get it to, to move. Uh, so we have it energized. Um, I jumped R to O, or I'm sorry, R to B, uh, to see if we can get it to pop. And then once we do that, we'll kind of cycle it back and forth and get it going again. And it might just be stuck, hopefully, because I do not want to change that thing. Changing reversing valves sucks. I've done it once, and hopefully that's the last time. Probably not, but hopefully not today. Alrighty, so one other thing we can try doing is uh, injecting some uh, some subco or oil or uh, what you call AC Renew or something like that, try an additive, but it seems to me like the reversing valve is toast. So we're gonna recommend changing it. I'm also gonna recommend replacing the whole unit because this is ridiculous. He's had all kinds of issues with this. This TXV has been done. Uh, apparently another company came out overcharged way overcharged the unit um our guy came out said it was overcharged took it out still finding that it was having pressure problems so because it had a restriction so whoever came out here first was like oh it's got low pressure so they just pumped it up so the thing holds 13 pounds he pulled out 13 pounds of refrigerant so yeah that's crazy 13 pounds of refrigerant he pulled out so it was going off on high pressure and it was all because of a, a restriction um, but now we have a dead reversing valve. So basically comes out of the discharge, goes in the valve and then goes back through the suction. So it's like probably like halfway through. So it's not all the way over. So that's a total bummer. Um, this is a 410A system. So we might recommend just changing out the whole condenser. It might be cheaper for him. So yeah, so we'll probably be back to change this reversing valve or replace the condenser. I don't know what it'll be. Uh, we'll pay, make that a part two if we do do that, but hopefully not because I hate changing reversing valves. This one's gonna be 
a pain. I'll probably just cut it out. Uh, but anyway, hopefully this helps you out. Um, oh, one more thing. Could also be a dead compressor, but we'll start with that first. Compressor turns on, but this is a scroll, so there are no valves. So usually they don't equalize unless it's like catastrophic failure. <laughs> so anyway, hopefully this helps you out in diagnosing a bad reversing valve on a heat pump. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.